Hello beautiful one and how are you doing today? Yes, we're talking about exes and seven ways to heal and move forward from a breakup. Come on, let's go. So we know beautiful one that breakups can be tough. They can be hurtful, but just remember, it's just one part of life's journey. And I'm sure all of us have experienced a breakup or will experience a breakup at some point. So how do we move on? How do we move on? First point is to rediscover yourself. So just think about it, all that time that you spent with your ex, you now have time to realign yourself, to understand and focus on your passions and all the things that possibly you put aside whilst you were with your partner. So that's the first point. Now, the next point is to allow yourself to feel. So you may be feeling a world of emotions right now, anger, hurt, hatred, all those points. I remember once I broke up with this guy that I used to date many moons ago and he was a friend of my brother's. And so what I did was he wasn't living with me, but he had a few of his bits. You know, they leave their bits about. I stuffed everything into this plastic bag, stuff, stuff, stuff. I saw my brother cross the road. I said, no, take his stuff. In that moment, I felt great. In that moment. And then all the other fe uh, feelings and emotions start flooding in. So just be uh, aware of your feelings, how you're feeling in the moment. And yes, you know, it is a process and it is a period of healing. So we've got to feel, haven't we? Next thing is embrace your freedom. So breakups can feel like a fresh start, which is great. And it's almost like a get out of, free, get out of jail free card, isn't it? Possibly things weren't going right and you need to, do, to have that break. And now you're free from the drama. That's if there was drama or you're free from whatever it was that could have possibly been holding you back, which possibly couldn't be working for you. So you're not limited now. You're free to go and experience the things that you want to experience. Four, understand the season. So remember, people come into our lives for a reason and for a season. And the season, unfortunately, with you both is up. So think of what you got out of it and recognise that some relationships are meant to be temporary they're not meant to be for a lifetime and some are for a lifetime but at some point we're all going to be heartbroken because one of us is going to leave first in the end trust that you'll be okay and trust that life will go on number five learn and grow so every relationship teaches us something about ourselves so what did you learn from the relationship what did you get out of it? You must have learned something about you and about them. What have they brought? What did they leave? What lasting impression did they leave on you? Or oh, not such a lasting impression. So you might have learned that certain behaviours that you didn't like and going into the next relationship that you have, that you will know or see what those things are that you want to avoid in the next relationship. Number six, explore new interests. So find a new hobby or an activity, something that you possibly put off. Going hiking in the mountains uh, or learning to drive. Maybe you don't drive, maybe they were the designated driver. It could be anything. So just explore new interests, something that you were possibly putting off because your partner didn't want to do it. That could be it as well, isn't it? Also, beautiful one, you might open yourself up to new connections. So it might be a little bit sore now and you possibly don't want to meet someone right now. But open yourself up to meeting new people. Go out and you never know if it's not too soon for you that you might meet someone else and start something over. But remembering those points there about learning and growing and what you took from the relationship so as not to make those same mistakes that possibly ended your last relationship. But just know that things will be okay. So in conclusion, beautiful one, getting over your ex is a process. 
it is, should we just go over those seven points again? One, to rediscover yourself, allow yourself to feel, embrace the freedom, understand the seasons, learn and grow. Yes, learn and grow. Explore new interests and open yourself up to new connections. And that's what it is. So it is a process getting over your ex and it does take time and patience. Be kind to yourself as you work through the healing process and remember, embrace opportunities for growth. Know what you learned from the relationship and self-discovery, rediscovery. Yes, we know that bright days are ahead. So stay strong, stay positive and keep moving forward, beautiful one. And remember, please, if you like this video to hit that um, subscription button, ding dong, hit that notification bell. And I'll see y'all on the other side.